Cook here, my first MT or my first um, MTK stroke AFL video. Absolutely. Yeah, do you know James? James had um, always promised me one, but he never delivered Cook, so had to go straight to the main man. Well, if you go to the main man, you'd be going to him. So, All right, second okay. in combine you get today. All right, okay. Well, look, at least you're here. He's not. <laughs> Thanks, James. Thanks very much. Look, Cook is here. Coon Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're in Belfast at Sousa Brothers. Yeah. On Upper Arthur Street. Mm -hmm. What number? Number 56. Yeah. BT14GJ for your sat nav. Talking to BT, they're over there as well. Yeah, we've got BT here as well. Follow them on the guys. So it's um, it's always good crack. Look, I seem, to, I seem to have became the tailor of choice for all the boxers. Number one is most of our guys are either bantam, super bantam featherweight, and I just have a knack of fitting them really, really well, so in the minute, Franton's here, Barnes is here, we're just waiting on Jamie Conlon now, and we're going to get them kitted out for this press conference. Absolutely, so Suter Brothers now, the official tailor for uh, MTK Global. Yeah, and that's, look, here, couldn't be happier, with all our guys now being backed by MTK, it's a perfect synergy, and I was talking to Paul Gibson, and the the vision that they have for MTK now going forward with this new restructuring stuff, I'm just really glad to be a part of it. So, yep, really looking forward to it. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie, come on ahead. Come on ahead. Well, the show goes on. Even when Coogan's here, the show still goes on. How are you, pal? So, um, yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's good, and hopefully it'll work well for us both. You know, we're doing a nice sort of discount with them so that anybody that signs up to the MTK website can get a discount code and then come in here and avail of my super-duper stuff for less money, all in the name of MTK. Chris, just briefly, just talk about the history of obviously your family in the tailoring business and how long this shop's been here and yeah. when did it all begin? If you could right, give you a brief history, that. family yeah. history. Um, started by my dad, Tom Suter. Um, he has been in the industry since 1969, 1970, so a long, long time. We've been in Belfast on our own for the past sort of 26 years. This last um, sort of five, six years, it's been my big brother William and I have taken over the the mantle, and we are now the Suter Brothers, so it's great to have a family history here, because people people don't believe our surname, whenever you say hi, my name's Chris Suter. Yeah, I said to you, I didn't believe no, it. No, you have to show them a business card, or a credit card, or something, they're like, that actually is, is my name, and wasn't it was my mum's, it was my oh, granny, I know you went and went on F, I know, but you're like, you were trying your best, Carl, like, you know what I mean? He's doing, he was doing his best, Jim, you know, he's doing his best. Tell him, no, my, my, my granny's surname was Taylor, so... My grand suitor, my tailor, and here, here you are. You're here like this. So Genuine. Genuinely, she was she was tailor and he was suitor. So it's um, you, you can't, couldn't write you, it. You can't make this you stuff up. You couldn't make this shit up. You really, really couldn't. You couldn't make it up. But it's oh, it's great. You know we're we're well supported by our sports stars and our local celebs and stuff. We do seem to just be the the, the shop of choice. And you know it's not even it's not to do with money or anything like that. We just really look after the guys. You know. And um, I think they, I think they appreciate that. Like before, before Carl and Patty got dressed by me, did you ever see the state of them? Oh, <laughs> horrific looking. We have seen that picture actually. I'm going to in no, I'm not going to insert that picture actually. I don't want to annoy Carl Frampton today <laughs> <laughs> for, for for some reasons. Yeah, um, so I look after them. I really take care of them and want. I want them to look as good as they can possibly look. It reflects good on me too, you know. But it's great for them. I'm just so proud to do it for them. Absolutely. Should we have a look who's in the shop today then? Yeah, go on, go on, go on and meet some of the gang. Let me, let me follow you. Come on, meet some of the gang. So we've got here, we've got, um, this is Mi Doctor, Dr. Carl Frampton. Not yet. When is that? It's meant to be December, but I'm, I'm going away, so I'm <coughs> rearranging it to be early <coughs> next year. <laughs> and we Doctor have of what? I don't know. I don't know what to give you for. Give me an honorary doctorate, but I don't know what for. Social skills? I don't know. <laughs> services, services, the um, services to sport, I would say. Would it not be services to sport in Belfast? Like here, name another, name another um, sports person that's done as much for this city as Paddy Barnes. You know, so you missed that, Carlos. You missed that. Well, I was begging you up, and then I used. To, I flipped it. You've missed that. You've missed it. Oh, okay, I was saying, name someone that's done more for this city in sport. Than Paddy Barnes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Truth. It's hard to do. And then we've got Jamie Moore over here. So Jamie's cars, Carl's um, best mate. Can we consider ourselves a trainer? Best, best, best coach you've ever had? I'm, I'm, actually, <laughs> I'm actually Master of Science. I've got a Master's degree. Do you? Yeah. What? Do you? So, hold on, we've got a doctor and we've got a master? 
An honorary one? An honorary master, ah, yeah. Well, they don't count. Oh, well, hang on, yours counts, yours counts as a doctor, but, but mine doesn't, even though they're See, both on you. Yeah. 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 Right, year. anyway, <laughs> picking this back up. Gordon? Thank you, boy. Come on, mate. What was it for? Here, get that on. Look at that. So that's what you call service. Customer just dropped that in for us because of her service. Really? Cheers. Yeah, there. Paddy, what have you dropped in? Me? Yeah. Just himself. Just himself. Just himself. Just himself and his banter. Hello, William. How are you? How are you? All right. Just sharing in the the joy of being rewarded for our toil here. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Definitely. So, right, what are you going to give me now, Paddy? Here you go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Here, talk, see, just talking on that, right? If you look around the shop, you'll see bits of sporting and particularly boxing memorabilia. Nothing from Barnes? Nothing. I'll get you on the tree, look, don't worry. there's a big fronting thing right behind my desk. If you have a look over there, you have, in fact, that was the, that was the ring jacket yeah, from the free yeah, thing. Okay. I'll God rest his soul. That was your ring guy from, from Gonzalez Jr. I see his name. Jimmy Conlon is in that. He's got his own changing room in here, look. Have you seen that? Yeah, I've seen that. I've, I, have, I have actually seen that, yeah. yeah. But Junior here. Junior hasn't given me anything yet. You know what? I'm here. I don't even want a t-shirt. Where's, where's my t-shirt? Chris, just from an, like, an impartial point of view, who yes. would you say was the biggest star in Belfast boxing? I know he's here, and he's going to get embarrassed when I say to it, but there's not a day in my life that goes past in this shop where that boy's name's not mentioned. Okay, because I thought you were going to sway And then every other, every other day, Paddy Barnes gets talked about. <laughs> but <laughs> um, <laughs> it just no, it just goes to show you. There's honestly, there's not a day in this shop where Fronton's name's not mentioned. But that's why people walk in. Call Fronton's. I, 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 Fronton suits. Just kind of poke him in the door. Where's my mom? Serious? Because uh, so, I can imagine man. people coming in here oh. and you saying that yeah. you know Cole comes in here and they're like, oh wow, you know, and that could be a selling point. But do you ever have to name drop Paddy Barnes? That's yeah, what I mean. yeah, all the time because he because he won't put anything up in the shop. People see Jamie stuff and see Carl stuff and see all the rest of it, and we ran Burnett and stuff and Michael Collin. But um, Barnes here's he's too tight with his stuff. He won't give me anything. I give him boxers. Right, your boxers. You're gonna watch them first. No, I'm not. I I do that. I frame big, them. Big Paddy pasty Barnes in, boxers. Big tasty in boxers. Are you always at Noah? I don't think I'll go down too well. Do you understand him all the time? I, I had to think twice about what he said. There are pasty in boxers, is what he said. But I didn't hear it the first time. And then you get the big bars across the <laughs> no, top. No, I'm getting used to it because I, I got it, to be fair. I took it the first time. <laughs> it's easier to understand you, though, than Nigel. <coughs> Nigel Travis. I still have oh, Nigel. Where's Nate from? Manchester. 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 But I, I hit him that hard sparring. Yeah, he, so he can't, can't speak properly, yeah. 100%. How's your rib, by the way? Speaking there of is. the devil. Look at that law of attraction. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting weird. This has happened three times already today. Trav, we've just been talking about you not being able to speak. <laughs> but Carl, best suits in the business for you here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Suits are great. You've got to stop swearing, you're live on IFL. Fuck IFL! What are you saying, Bob? Oh, right, now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, back, you were asking... Yeah, I was, asking. I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> get a, here, get a, get a better response than that. Yes, yeah. though, I suit your brilliant. Chris has looked after me for a good few years now. Um, Why? Everyone comments on the suits, like, where do you get dressed and who gets your, who sorts you out. I'm and, saying, uh, yep. Keep this going. man here Keep going. does okay. the business. Chris He's forward. Right here, ask what he got. Ask, um, ask Paddy. <laughs> Paddy? Ask Paddy Barnes now. Thanks, mate. I used to get the suit and baby gap, so now I'm getting them. Uh, <laughs> now you're getting looked after. Special yep. We bought new machines just for Paddy. I'm sure I have. Special fit. Sure just for the Barnes, for the Barnes fit. Yeah. And here comes future world champion. And the new, yeah, JC. And the real JC, there's the real JC up there. <laughs> <laughs> Three seconds, JC, Charlie. Charlie, you alright? Paddy, put that in your bag. Nice to see you, Sam. Yes, you too. What did you get a bottle of Jimmy's? Is that enjoy? You alright? Good. Yeah. You put it in that bag. He has to fight me for it. He's going to sit on it. <laughs> 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 
I'm here. I'm not drinking this. 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 I'm not drinking this.
I didn't put oh, the pizza up. I didn't even like I it. I put up the finished plate. I didn't even like it. Bollocks, you. At least you didn't try to flip and unfriend me anyway. That was... <laughs> Who done that? That was, oh, no, Stevie Ward threatened to unfriend me last time I done that to him. We were on the run up the fight. We sent a picture of this big pizza. He wouldn't have done it anyway. Ah, I don't know. think so. Ah, yes, he is too nice, isn't he? He's got eating disorder. He's a proper, <laughs> proper nice guy. Right, let me see you, bud. Let me see your arms just down by your side there, please. Yeah. Let me get this right on you. So, you need a tie pin. Look, you can even have my tie pin here. Chris, where can we leave this there? Just park it all in there, Carlos. I'll sort You just need to get round to the presser, so just leave it all there and I'll sort it. Yeah. Okay, mate, we don't want Frank on the phone here. Wondering where the hell you boys are. Right, let me see turn in the back there, please. Does that all feel comfy enough? Bang on. You feel like shit, like, but... I know, mate, but, like, you yeah. Sorry. Only another couple of... A couple of days, pal. You're well down, Jimmy. Like you're flipping. You're you're well skinny. Well, well skinny. Right. Here, throw it in the throw it in the back. Throw it in the back. Yeah. Tell you what to do. Leave me your keys and I'll put it in the back. Okay. Okay, mate. Just park all your stuff, but you just need to get you just need to get round there. Are you boys gonna meet up after the fight after Saturday night? <laughs> Cars, just double checking there. Is there anything there? I'm I'm already out today. I'm the face. Let me see. Feel alright? Yeah. You get a pen in that pocket square. Hold right. on a wee sec. Are you wearing a coat in here, Cornell? By the way, is this filming? Is this going? Yes. Right. You've obviously heard of the um, Paddy and Carl relationship. You've heard of the Paddy and McConnell relationship. You know the way like we brothers. Yeah. See in here, Paddy's my man's big Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. Come here right here, come here right meet here. This is Big Jimmy. Jimmy's worked for us for on and off 25 odd years. And um, Jimmy's Paddy's mate. They've got a wee bit of a thing going on there. Like. Fits in Jimmy's back pocket. <laughs> yeah. See, he goes, all, he goes all giddy when Jimmy's touching him and stuff like that, right? He does, he looks a wee smile. I think he looks a wee smile. He does. He does. He does. Because you always call Paddy the grumpiest man in Belfast, don't you? Angry. See, when Jimmy's touching him, or the angriest? Happiest man in Belfast. Oh, yes. Jimmy, I've got a wee segment on this here. Uh, Phil, Jimmy, want to speak for the camera? What's that? Do you want to speak to you on the camera? Uh, no. no? Just a, a line about Paddy Barnes? Yes, you're, you're loved for him anyway. I used to like you, young Connell, but now I've gone off you. <laughs> <laughs> Very sharp, Paddy. Very sharp. Good night. Mm -hmm. It's the hard day. Right. Right. You're looking sharp as hell, you feel sharp as hell. Yeah. Nah, just looks good, mate. Okay. Right, Chris, thank you very much for having us down Cooks, the shop today. Put your hands, a pleasure. Wait there, wait there, let me just. Oh, come on ahead. Thank you, my first IFL video. Love it. No problem. Um, yeah. Are you interested in becoming the official tailor to IFL TV? James already knows this. Did he not tell you? <laughs> I'm not going to say Elder, no, but he may Elder, have done. You need to talk to this guy. You talk to this guy more. So, when, um, when's our fitting? Have we got a time? Um, any, he knows any time he's your home, come on in and we'll get you to get you kitted out. It'd be great. It'd be All great right. to do it for you. It'd be a pleasure. Saturday, maybe then. Yeah, Saturday could work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen. Thanks shop, for doing that. Shop's busy. Not a problem. And uh, I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon, Chris. Yeah, I know. It's great. I mean, you can see the atmosphere in here is just class. And see when the boys all come in, it's it's nice. This is what makes boxing so special. You know, we're all just a good bunch of guys and they're earning a fortune and I'm getting paid pittance. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> anyway, come and visit Suter Brothers up around the street, Belfast. Get, we'll drop the address look, on the look video. Like a, look like a boxer from Belfast. You have to admit, though, they are the sharpest looking boxers. They are, absolutely. You yeah. even look at McConnell. You see the stuff. Where do you see the stuff we're doing for Mick? For, um, you know, he's fighting on the, um, the Rigo Lomachenko undercard. Mick has a suit that not even Conor McGregor has been anywhere near. So watch out for that one. All right, we will okay. do. Guys. All right, top man. Cheers. Thank you very much, you. Chris Suter. That's class. You all look a million bucks. He's the best. Thanks, 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 lads. Party at you, son. Thanks. It is you. I think Jimmy's going to grab some of himself. I can pull off the suit. Like, we're all unique. Our, in our own way. Yeah, we're all unique. <coughs> the, the beard in front, it's just a little bit different. I'm struggling to get my head around it. Do you wear it in there?